Odds are, if you have been following table tennis, you've either heard about it or seen it yourself. Faulty serves, players hiding the ball, tossing it at crazy angles, and more importantly, what does it mean for the game? Let's dive in and find out why this matters. Faulty serves are a hot topic right now. I know a lot of YouTubers have already talked about it, but here is my take. Let's start with the basics. We all know the rules, right? Toss the ball near vertically and make sure it's visible to the opponent at all times. Simple enough, at least on paper. But when you watch top 100 players serving, well, you start to notice something. A lot of them are bending the rules, tossing the ball at angles, sometimes hiding it beyond their bodies, or at least making it hard to see. I don't know if you experienced this or not, but I've played my fair share of matches where it felt impossible to read the opponent's serve. Whether I'm at the club or just watching high-level matches, you can sometimes see that little shoulder dip or angle that makes it tricky to track the ball. You ever notice that? Now, I don't think this is always intentional. I mean, it didn't start out this way. Players probably began with a slight angle here and there testing what they could get away with. But with no strict action from the umpires, it becomes normal over the years. It's like when you give someone an inch and eventually they take a mile. And before you know it, here we are. Let's set aside those who intentionally hide the ball. For most players, the hiding just happens naturally. Especially when they are doing reverse pendulum serves, the body movement with the help of tossing the ball with some angles make it easy to hide the ball. It's a subtle thing, but over the course of a match, it can really add up. Think about it. If every third serve is a little tricky to read because you can't fully see the ball, that's a big advantage for the server. And we all know how crucial serves are in table tennis. So really, what we are seeing now is the result of not enforcing the rules strictly enough for years. It's like a, a slow build up that no one addressed and now it's become a core issue. Now, to be fair, there are players who play by the book. I mean, look at Timo Boll's serves. They are clean, effective, and he doesn't rely on hiding the ball to win points. And I really respect that. When you watch Timo play, He's got incredible variation, spin, and placement, all without trying to trick his opponent by breaking the rules. That's a skill. His mechanics are flawless, and it just shows that you don't need to bend the rules to have an effective serve. So what's the solution? There are a lot of opinion out there. Some people think we need to rewrite the rules to make them clearer. Others say the umpires just need to be a stricter and some even suggest using technology. What would clearer rules even look like? Recently in WTT handbook they've mentioned a 30 degrees deviation from tossing the ball is acceptable. Should we require umpires to stand in a different position to monitor the serve better? Because they clearly cannot even detect these angles without using technology let alone do it from angle they are sitting at. Well, these are all things that could be discussed. Then of course, there is some fans that says it's not a big deal and we are making it huge. But are we really? Ignoring faulty serves, is that the answer? If you watch old matches from the 90s, you will notice that players who could trick their opponents with serves had a huge advantage. Their spin was hard to read and poor return almost always meant a point for the server. But here's the thing, the game has changed. First the ball size increased, players got way faster and more aggressive. These days if you give a pro even the slightest advantage, they're going to punch on it. With today's ball and the unforgiving speed of the game, if you can't see the ball when it's served, you are pretty much giving away a point. So there is a good reason they changed the rules back then. And today, it's even more important. Personally, I'm not against updating the rules if they come up with something that can fix this on paper. 
Why not, right? Clearer rules could help remove some of this gray area. But until that happens, I think if umpire just enforce the existing rules more strictly, we'd see improvements over time. It's not going to happen overnight, and I understand it's hard to enforce rules. But it's a start. Imagine if umpires really cracked down on faulty serves for a year. Players would have no choice but to adapt. But being a decisive umpire, it's not easy. The crowd doesn't like it. We all remember the 2012 Olympic final between Ding Ning and Li Xiaoxia. The umpire made some big calls, and to this day, people still say she overreacted and ruined the match. It might be an unpopular opinion, but if we agree that Ding Ning's serves was illegal, wasn't the umpire just doing her job? It's tough, but playing by the book is the right call for the game. And as spectators, we'll get to enjoy more rallies, which is what we all want. As a final thought, I have to say, I think using technology is inevitable. Just like in other sports, table tennis needs to adapt, and technology could be the solution to these issues. Think about it, tennis has hawk eye, soccer has goal line technology, and even basketball has instant replay. Why shouldn't table tennis embrace tech to solve this? If a machine can track the serve from a multiple angle and give instant feedback, we'd eliminate a lot of these gray areas. Sure, it might take time to implement, but the future of the sport is about fairness and accuracy, and technology could help us to get there. So what do you think? Are faulty serves a big deal, or are we exaggerating? Do you think tech is the answer, or should we just leave it to the umpires? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching, and as always, keep playing.